Hello, my friends. Welcome to Dave's Skillet. Today, spaghetti and meatballs. There's the meatballs. Yep, we made those yesterday. They're going to go in the uh, 20 cup rice cooker. I'll be sauteing them just on one side. I'll put some brown on one side of them. And then I'll be adding pretty much all the Italian ingredients that I have that I'm going to use today. It'll be uh, black olives that are sliced. I've got um, diced tomatoes with green chilies. And of course my infamous cheat code of ragu. Hey, that's me. <laughs> These meals are supposed to be quick, fast, under 30 minutes for the most part. And so, hey, what you gonna do? Garlic bread is optional, but Parmesan, Parmesan cheese is not. That's got to be the real stuff. More on that at the end. So let's get busy. So the meatballs go into the 20 cup. They go right in there. And we're going to put some of this spray in the bottom of the pan because it's why not it's olive oil isn't it gotta have something in there so there's gonna be eight of them in here I hope hope I can squeeze all eight of them in here gonna certainly try looks like it'll work yeah, they're all going to fit. Cool. What's that? See? Got to wash the blood off. Okay. So, we will saute those in the cooker, the rice cooker. And, wow. I got to get ready for the smells I'm going to have in the kitchen. Hell yeah. If it's anything like yesterday with that hamburger, wow. Okay. I'm going to turn this around. Move the little one out of the way. I'll be using the little rice cooker a little bit later to make my pasta. Seven minutes on steam mode and you got pasta. About that. You didn't see that coming, did you? So, we got all kinds of improv in this kitchen. So, that goes in the rice cooker. And this can come over here. So, you can see what I'm doing. It's not going to be a whole lot to see because. Bye! That's it. That's it. It's going to cook saute mode for, I don't know. 15 minutes, something like that. We'll turn this thing on. We'll put it on saute. And it's going, it's doing its thing. We'll be back. And now that those are starting to saute, we can start adding the rest of the ingredients. I like these pop tops. Those are genius. Love it. I don't want the liquid from the olives. We'll do it that way. In they go. And now the mushrooms with the same kind of lid, huh? All three tins got the pop top. Mm. Great. Mm. That just 
means I gotta go buy more of it. And now the tomatoes. Gotta put them in there. Yeah. Bring those out. That works. There we go. Yeah, I got a jar of ragu. It's the last jar. I'll have to go buy some more. There we go. I can do that. <laughs> oh yeah. I gotta add a little bit of water to it. Just enough to get the contents of the jar out. And into the pot. Shaky, shaky. To get it all out. There we go. And now I need a thing bopper. Stir everything up. Stir the meatballs up. They've been sitting down there getting some color on them. But it's time they get a stir. That's looking pretty good. Now i got to get some garlic because it wouldn't be Italian without garlic. Oof, I tell you, this is some strong garlic. Whew. You open that up and you know you got a jar of garlic. I know it's a cheat code, but I told you we're doing it in a hurry. Under 30 minutes. So that's why we're using that kind of garlic. Otherwise, yeah, I would use real garlic, which I have. Oh, that is looking good. Gotta have some Italian seasoning. Just a little bit in there, just to pick it up a bit, and crushed red chili peppers. Just because I like it with a little zingaroo in it, so I put that. Don't judge me. I like things a bit on the warm side. Not really too spicy, but yeah, I want to know what's in there. And so now we're going to put this on low and slow. There we go. Two hours. Two hours. And it will be done. Of course, in two hours, that's not going to be dinner time. It's going to be a bit early. But... Then it'll just sit in its juices until it is dinner time. I'll leave it on warm, keep warm. That works for me. So we'll be back. Oh, it's time to make the pasta. I went with tagatelli, and um, there's four of them in there, and a cup of water, about seven minutes on steam, and I'll have pasta ready. Um, the gravy, well, it's done, and it's being kept warm. Let's see. I have a little look at it for you. Oh, my gosh, let me tell you. I went out for a ride. When I came back, my house was smelling like this. Wow. So, there's that. And we'll just let that stay warm. No need to do anything there. And I gotta turn the, uh, the pasta on. Okay. 
I plug it in and it ain't going to work. Okay, now. Power on. Steam. Seven minutes. Bang. Showtime. It's cooking. We'll be back when it's done. So the tagatelli is done. Whew. Wow, that's looking really good. Wow. Okay, now I gotta put some sauce on this, but first I'm gonna sprinkle a little Italian seasoning. Just like that. Yeah. And some olive oil. Yeah. That'll be good. Not a whole lot. But got to have a little bit. Okay, that's good. That's good. Not too much. All right. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. Sea salt. And only a pinch. Gotta get the plate over here. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. plug them both and now there's one missing ingredient has anyone thought about what that might be it's not missing if I'm talking about it Parmigiano. gotta have the real stuff into that fake stuff in a green can which is totally fake that's like I've got some Parmesan flavored sawdust yeah right this is the real deal. Shaved to perfection. And I keep it in the freezer so it doesn't go green mold on me. And that's pretty good. That little piece missed. Yeah. Okay. I gotta see if it's any dang good. I'd ask for a drum roll right about now. Mm. Look at that. Whoo! Hmm. Oh yeah, that's a home run. Bon appetit, my friends. Enjoy. I intend to.